Greetings from STCMIM Hospital. Uh, we are from the Neurosurgery Department. I am the Chief, I am Dr. Ravi Gopal Varma, Chief of Neurosciences and Lead Consultant Neurosurgeon. I am Dr. Nirmala, Consultant Neurosurgeon, STCMI Hospital. Uh, now we are going to talk about um, an aspect of brain tumor that would interest you all. Uh, brain tumors basically are uh, tumorous growths within the brain, in and around the brain or in and around the spinal cord. So it includes uh, the tumors in the brain and the neural axis. So we'll talk about brain tumors. And in the bra among the brain tumors, there are malignant brain tumors, which are cancerous, and there are benign medical tumors, which are non-cancerous. Because always there's a confusion with terminology. Um, I would uh, say a few words on um, uh, the uh, you know where the tumors arise from so it can anywhere arise from in the head uh, starting from the skin the skull the dura which is the covering matter of the brain or from the brain parenchyma itself so um, how do you find out a brain tumor so i think dr nirmala will tell us about the investigational uh, nuances of uh, brain tumor investigation to start with i would start with some of the basic modalities like ct and mri though mri will give us more of an information when compared to ct and it will not only tell us uh, when we do a contrast mri it will not only tell us the uh, tumor per se but it will also tell us about the vessels that are involved or the uh, surrounding nerves or uh, any of the uh, the arteries or the veins that are there so that we can do a safe surgery now there are various uh, newer modalities of uh, uh, finding out uh, prior to surgery so that our uh, main aim will be for a safe surgical resection and what safe but a maximum surgical resection so that the patient will not develop any neurological problems uh, after the surgery so before itself we will be well prepared say for example functional mri which will tell us about where the speech area is or where the hand area or the leg area is before the surgery itself so we will know that we should not enter through those areas for us to reach the tumor the second one is a tractography means it will show us the various uh, tracts which uh, supply to the hand the legs or to, uh, to other parts of the body so that we don't have to damage those tracts and get into the uh, tumor for the patient to have for the person to have any neurological problems and uh, otherwise uh, uh, dr ravi gopal verma will be talking about uh, how intraoperatively we can actually manage uh, to have a safe surgical resection so um, having said um, the f uh, i mean having told you about what are the types of these special investigations how are they going to help <laughs> we have a we have an mri um, and we have a functional mri which is telling you where the speech is and showing you where the tumor is but in this surgery uh, how are we going to find the tumor so that is why we have something called um, uh, neuro navigation. So we feed the material that we get from the MRI into the navigation system and that navigation system coordinates with the person who is lying there for the surgery. Uh, his um, whole the, uh, head is put into a stereotactic uh, uh, realm which is fed into the uh, into the MRI uh, and the navigation system so we have uh, overlapping of it so and there is a passive um, um, you know um, um, detector which is a small um, you know a, a small arrow that points and you point those things with the navigation it's like your GPS you point at a particular point and you know exactly at what distance the tumor is and how deep the tumor is and how safely can we go to the tumor Another good uh, added thing to this is your navigation with ultrasonology. So you, we use ultrasound sometimes because when you open the skull and you look at the brain and the tumor below, you won't know how deep the tumor is or where exactly the tumor is. So we can use ultrasound which tells us, okay, now the tumor is right below this. This ultrasound merges to the MRI. So it gives you a real time uh, evidence where the tumor is. And uh, finally, sometimes after doing all this, and if it's in an eloquent area, like a speech area or hand or leg area, which is there, which are represented in your brain, you can have the patient awake. So the patient is awake, this patient talks to you, we stimulate certain places to see where the speech area is, produce speech changes by stimulation, and we know, okay, this is the area we need not go. We can approach a tumor which lies right behind the tumor there. We can approach from here because the speech area is here and the speech area is not there, and there's a safe corridor that we can achieve. So with these technologies, uh, brain surgery has become very safe 
and as uh, Dr. Nirmala ins- uh, pointed out, it is maximum safe resection of tumor. When a patient walks in, the patient should walk out. We should not give an extra de- uh, deficit or an extra uh, problem because the patient is coming home, coming to us with a problem. We don't add one problem and send the patient off, which inevitably does happen sometimes because of complications. But with this, we maximize the safety of uh, tumor surgery. Thank you.